destiny still arrives. Mark Schwartz, ESPN. Mark Schwartz, ESPN. Last question. LeBron, Mark Schwartz, ESPN. From listening to everybody's reaction to the play at the end with JR getting the rebound, there's still confusion about whether JR thought the game was tied or, the way, or whether he thought you guys were ahead. From where you stood on the court and from talking to him after the play, what do, what's your reaction to it? What's your version? What do you mean with my version? Well, did he think that the game was tied or did he think that you guys had it salted away? How do I know that? Or did you discuss it at all with him at the end of the play? No. They asked me if I talked to JR about it. I said no already. I knew it was a tie game. We, met, we, we was down one. Um, George Hill went up. He made the first one. We got the offensive rebound. You know, I thought we were all aware of what was going on. That's my view. So I don't know what JR was thinking. I don't know the question that you're trying to ask. I was just trying to see if you, you knew exactly what his state of mind was. Did he think that you guys had it won, or did he think he was trying to make a play? No. Not sure. What do you mean, I'm not sure? No, I don't know his state of mind. Did you know if he knew the score? Thank you. Mark Schwartz, ESPN. Knowing that you have that tremendous recall of moments in games, can you describe what was in your mind both tonight and last year when Kevin Durant launched that shot from the wing? Um, I actually think you should be like a psychiatrist. You want to just keep trying to get in somebody's mind. That's the whole thing, huh, Mark? Uh, my, what's in my mind, miss it so we can get the rebound. Did it feel like last year to you? Did you think of it at that moment? No. Mark Schwartz, ESPN. You know, Steph was unbelievable in this series as well as you were nine threes for a finals record. He closes out with 37, and he still never won a finals MVP. But does it matter? You does, it, does it? We won two champs. We just won back to back. I don't, I don't think nobody even worried about that type of stuff. Uh, I'm glad that we came out and played a great game tonight, was able to finish the series off. Um, that's the only thing that matters to us. Can you take me through the final possession where Iguodala hit the three? There was about five seconds left on the clock when he took it. Livingston found him, and he knocked down a shot, big shot. Did you want to see the ball in his hands in that situation compared to anybody else on the floor? No, we wanted to see it in our hands. <laughs> we wanted to get a steal. Second row on the right, Mark. Kawhi, Mark Schwartz, ESPN. Draymond Green recently called himself the best defender of all time. Um, you're right there with him, and you have as many all-defensive appearances and first team as he does. I'm wondering if you could compare yourself on defense to him and talk about what it is that gives you so much um, ability on that side of the ball. Second row on the right to Mark. Pascal, Mark Schwartz, ESPN. Um, first of all, two-part question. Draymond Green called himself the best defender ever recently, and you might have to go up against Draymond quite a bit in the series. I'm wondering what your thoughts are on his defense. And secondly, your teammate Kawhi Leonard has just as many defensive accolades. What makes Kawhi an elite, world-class defender? Second row on the right to Greg. Kyle, Mark Schwartz, ESPN. Uh, Draymond recently called himself the best defender of all time. Um, wondering, <laughs> wondering what you think of that and where Kawhi ranks on that list and, and why. Uh, Go ahead, Mark. Clay, Mark Schwartz, ESPN. Uh, Draymond said uh, a few days ago that he is the best defender ever. Um, wondering if you could react to that kind of claim and talk about another defender and his abilities, Kawhi Leonard, in this series. Mm -hmm.